Welcome back, y'all. If you're listening the morning of August 8th, 2022, and you've not yet signed up for our brand voice workshop, hit the link in the show notes to register because we're starting today at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm going to dive right in and share how to tap into your own unique edge for your newsletter and Instagram content so that people will sit up and take notice. If you can pinpoint your edge and you will learn how in the workshop, you can start leveraging your own unique personality to earn follower trust and gain newsletter conversions and readers who come back for more. Sounds great, right? Something else you'll learn about in that workshop is our Authentic Online Marketing School, a blend of Instagram and newsletter marketing training. Doors just opened for Authentic Online Marketing School today, Monday, August 8th. And we'll share early bird bonuses and all the details of our training there. But I do want to mention that the doors are open from today through Saturday, August 13th, 2022. And the school actually starts September 5th, extending for four weeks. So we will link that in the show notes so you can check it out and see if now might be the right time for you. If you are starting your newsletter or you need input on it, you need to craft a welcome series, or maybe you're just ready to nail down some kind of consistent content that will really take off and work for you and get your readers engaged. You can also take advantage of our self-paced Instagram accelerator training right away. Community grows opportunity, y'all. And if you've been around here for any length of time, I know you've heard me say that. And with every live training I release, we work hard to foster networking opportunities. So I wanted to share transformations our Authentic Online Marketing School graduates have experienced today so you can hear for yourself that this training isn't just a pipe dream for somebody else and it won't work for you. And now, listen in. Welcome to Authentic Online Marketing with Ruthie Gray. Growing awareness for your blog, podcast, book, or product involves more than dancing to reels and yelling, buy my thing. This show models quality over clamor so you can put your spin on your message and market in a way that feels authentic to you because nobody wants to sound like an infomercial. And now, here's your host, Ruthie Gray. My first guest today is Pat Finner of Pat Finner on Instagram, and she runs the Strong Women Bright Future podcast. Pat specializes in VA services, particularly podcast and YouTube editing, and has been a longtime online friend and member of our trainings for several years now. I sat down with Pat and asked how the trainings helped her, and I was stunned by what she had to say about how it revolutionized her perspective on marketing. Listen in. First of all, the, the networking that you provide right off the bat. I mean, you have you have quality people in your group. Everybody that I have come across over the years working with you, you just attract quality people, which I guess, yeah, would mean I'm a quality person. <laughs> but I mean, the people I've met are really outstanding. And that's been helpful. And I think it's it's helped open my eyes to what non-sleazy networking is, you know, with with I mean women of quality and substance. It's also helped me to know how to market myself or know the channels and the how to's Pat's comment, it's helped open my eyes to what non-sleazy networking is with women of quality and substance. It's also helped me to know how to market myself or know the channels and the how-tos. That really struck me because this is exactly what we're about at Authentic Online Marketing. And most of the women interested in our trainings feel the same way. In fact, they often comment that they don't want to use the word marketing because it feels dirty. But it doesn't have to feel that way or be that way. This is why we foster community so much in our trainings. So you can change your marketing viewpoint from sleazy <laughs> to quality and reflect that in your messaging. My next guest is Amber Cullum of the Grace Enough podcast and 
Grace Enough Podcast under dash Amber on Instagram. Amber really struggled with her newsletter messaging before taking the Authentic Online Marketing School, and the transformation has been amazing. First of all, Amber isn't a writer. She's a speaker and quite fluent. She's one of the best, in my opinion. But often, speakers struggle with writing, and this was Amber's roadblock. And by the way, I'm sharing Amber's email transformation in our workshop today. So you'll be able to see what I mean. That's the biggest okay. reason. And then newsletter. I mean, I receive your newsletters. Uh-huh. So your newsletters are very, very good. They're very engaging. So they kind of spark some curiosity, which not very many newsletters that I receive do. And so I was like, I know, I know where he's good at this. I see her do it all the time. And so that made me want to take the newsletter course. And I'm glad I did. What was the transformation with the newsletter course? What is like one main thing that you can do now that you weren't able to do before that? Connect my, my podcast episodes for either that two week period or the month, whenever I'm sending the newsletter with what I'm writing in the body of my newsletter. So being able to use story and something that feels personal to actually draw somebody in to want to listen, which is what my goal is with my news, to get Uh people to listen. So that's the biggest thing. Before, they were very disjointed. I'm so proud of Amber's progress. It's just amazing. She learned to story brand and went from links all over the place and disjointed sentences to a seamless flow from opener to podcast link, because that's where she's driving her newsletter traffic. My next guest is Allison Simmons of the Grace Over Perfection podcast and Allison Lee Simmons on Instagram. Allison first came to me as a personal coaching client years ago and later realized she needed a community and group training to get her on her feet and accountable. But her background in direct sales was holding her back from authentic marketing in the online space. I was, because of my direct sales experience, was coming, trying to present myself as an expert. And so in my stories, every single day, I had something specific that I was teaching and I was doing it through stories. And you were like, you have got to stop. Stop (laughs) teaching all the time. You have to be real. You have to interact with people. You have to share you. You can be an expert, but you can't be an expert 100% of the time. And so that completely, I completely stopped what I was doing in that realm. And so over time, what I've come to is that my, feed is where I'm an expert in things. It's where I share stuff, whether it's a funny reel or it's Bible stuff. But then my stories are really more about encouraging women, sharing my life and just, you know, encouraging interaction that way. And so that was that hot seat session took me from taking what I had known before about social media in my Norwex Facebook group that I was doing that was working excellent because they want you to be an expert when you're selling the product and whoop, this way. Allison's transformation came when she stopped saying, buy my thing and started backing off and presenting herself as an authentic, imperfect mom who also has daily struggles and shares what she's learning, especially in Instagram stories. And lastly, you'll hear from someone you've heard me mention before on the podcast, Brenda McDermott, author of The Big Hunker Down, and adventure seeker of Texas Over 50 on Instagram. Brenda didn't realize she had a brand voice already. She had her edge figured out. She just wasn't sure how to make her newsletter content really valuable. And she honestly needed affirmation that it was and incentive to send consistently instead of just putting it off. Let's talk about the newsletter course for a second. When you have tried in the past before our course, what kind of, did you take other newsletter courses or any kind of material there? No, yours is the first newsletter course I've taken. And so you're absolutely, I'm sure there are other people who do well with those courses, but I can't imagine anyone being any better. Why do you think it's better? I think it's better because it's very clear and it's a formula that's easy to follow. Whereas before, You know, I think it's important 
for the newsletter to sound like you're writing to a friend, of course, or a pen pal, you know, and, but sometimes they're too willy nilly. If I do it that way, there's just really mm-hmm. not a structure to it. And I think it would be, it's always more pleasant to read something that is of value, even though it does sound like it's coming from a friend, it mm-hmm. needs to have some sort of a point and some value and a takeaway. So I like what I learned from you and I'm going to be refocusing on that in what you taught in the course. From these four interviews, I see four marked transformations. Number one, a fresh marketing perspective. No longer that sleazy, icky feeling, but a truly, I have a good offer for you that's valuable and I believe in it. That type of quality approach. Number two, Clear story branded newsletter content instead of 500 links and a lack of purpose. Number three, an authentic social presence that earns trust instead of pushing an agenda because trust builds authority, which leads to connection and conversion. And number four, renewed purpose and validation of consistent newsletters and a renewed belief in the core message. Inside my authentic online marketing school, I teach the CAFE method based on the acronym that stands for Q, AIM, FIRE, and EDGE. In today's free brand voice workshop, I'll be specifically zeroing in on the EDGE part of the CAFE method. That is your own unique EDGE and how to find it. So be sure to sign up for that workshop. The link is in the show notes or head straight to our website, AuthenticOnlineMarketing.com and you'll see it at the top. And if you can't make it to the workshop, at least check out the Authentic Online Marketing School to see what we offer. And if now is the time to grow and hone your email list. And here's a hint, you should be doing this yesterday. Thanks so much for listening this week. Keep sharing your awesome content your unique way in your own authentic voice.